let's hit that record button okay we are live okay hello everyone this is the eighth time i've tried recording this video over the course of like six days so hopefully this is the one that lands i am very stressed very tired very groggy it is a sunday morning and very foggy groggy foggy for my literary folks my poets out there anyways we're gonna do this thing we hope it goes well i'm gonna try and keep it short because i'm crunched for time trying to keep the youtube schedule trying to keep the algorithm happy so anyways let's get into it first and foremost 200 subscribers that feels incredible to me um you know it's been a year it's taken a year to get here it took us it took us eight months to get our first 100 subscribers four months to get our second 100 subscribers um so that it feels great that's a big jump forward and I, i'm just thrilled and i hope that i can keep putting out content that is helpful or enjoyable or entertaining or whatever i just want to yeah i just want to keep growing this thing so if you have any suggestions um let me know in the comments and you will get paragraphs in return uh or and or some video oh, i just hit myself in the face with this um uh and or shout outs in the videos so i'm going to be talking about a couple of people later on giving quick shout outs um but anyways what's the plan for the upcoming videos now that the thank yous are out of the way um what do we got so the plan for the upcoming videos. so two weeks ago i went to washington island i'm in wisconsin right now that's where i'm living no longer a grad student working a 40-hour week which i'll say more about in a second but i went to washington island if you go on google maps look up washington island it is what it sounds like it is an island um it's in uh lake michigan and uh, you got to take a ferry to get there it's fun and there was a literary festival there so i was there and i did a lecture on a beach and i filmed the whole trip and it ended up being like two hours worth of content that i have to go through and i just had no idea how long that was going to take me to work through i really hope that my head is still in this the last time i recorded this my head was not in it and that would devastate me if that happened again so hopefully i'm in the shot um whatever it is what it is we're going to keep going so what's the plan so i filmed the trip and i yeah it's just taken me a long time to work through it and to do the edits that i usually do and um, on top of that i'm working 40 hours a week now and that's rough and i think that 40 hours a week is like the minimum it's like the the some uh, you know whenever the 40 hour work week was put into place uh i think it's kind of like it's like the 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 exact number of hours to where um you don't feel like i don't know it, a side hustle has just made nearly impossible you kind of the 40 hour work week kind of locks you into that job so i'm trying to figure out how to navigate the channel on top of that because there's no way that i'm abandoning the channel at this point so um yeah but i'll figure it out eventually for now i just have to film a shorter video that's hopefully helpful and i can kind of explain my intentions with what's going on i feel like i wanted this rollout for the the english class outside to be smoother but it's not but it will be at some point um so anyways that's kind of what i'm going through now the video is taking a very long time to record or a very long time to edit and yeah i just i'm struggling to keep the youtube schedule so slowly but surely we're making progress and we'll figure it out but for now this is kind of what i'm doing i'm going to hype up what i'll be talking about in the video this video that i'm that i'm mentioning where i gave that lecture on a beach on an island um i'm talking about stephen king's on writing um in that uh video and uh yeah i love that book and stephen king says what writing is is telepathy i think it's it is telepathy i agree with him 100 percent. i also think it's a spiritual act and so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today i'm going to be tying it to a comment that was left by a his his name is richard and i have omitted his last name um so i want to shout out richard last name omitted and also shout out elon mush uh, two guys who have been heavy in the comments as of late. So I appreciate you. 
Um, I thank you for being here, and I will try to be as helpful as I can possibly be. So, um, yeah, what Richard said in the comments was just that uh, for like 18 months, he's been keeping track of his interests, documenting notes on, um, I can't remember what the program was, but he's been doing it on his computer um, digitally. So, um, and he said he's only recently started wanting to write them down to, you know, go back through it and, you know, do it all by hand. And I think that's awesome. I am a handwriting maximalist um not really but whatever it's kind of funny or punchy or whatever i don't know who cares let's move let's keep going keep going can't get bogged down gotta make this short enough um gotta make it short enough to like edit in two days so here we go um handwriting so yeah he asked for what he asked me what my thoughts were on him kind of going through these digital notes that he'd kept in order and writing them by hand and i think that that's a great idea and um, there's a bunch of things that I want to talk about, and I don't really know how to squeeze it into, you know, like a 10 or 12 minute video, but I'm going to try. How are, we do how are we doing on time? Okay, not great on time, but we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, writing by hand. Writing by hand. Handwriting is like the connecting, it's like the point that connects the physical world to the world of ideas. Now, I don't think Plato said that, or Aristotle, but they could have. But, uh, you know, finders, keepers, losers, weepers, that's what I say. So beat you to it, guys. Better luck next time. Um, writing is the point where the physical world meets the world of ideas. And, you know, I, I, mean, that, I mean writing by hand. Because, uh, you know, consider what effort it takes, what artistry it takes to just, you know, get some words in Microsoft Word. I'm not saying it's easy. Obviously, you know, you have to, it's still, you know, writing is still kind of a, a distilled thoughts. Um, so obviously, you know, you have to be good at recording your thoughts and thinking. So it's a more refined way of thinking. Um, but there's not the kind of artistry um, with each letter, um, with each turn of the pen that, uh, that there is with handwriting. You know, the motion to, to get an A um, uh, uh, in, the, in, in a Word doc is the same for a Z. Um, maybe you don't think that means anything. Maybe you think it means a lot. I personally think it means a lot. You know, the idea that, um, you know, there's, you know, there's, there can be some sort of beauty to writing by hand. Um, you know, it's a, it's a way of almost getting more out of less. You know, it might take you a longer time. You might not make as much progress, you know, per minute as far as the number of words you get on the page. But I think you kind of, in the same way that spending more time um, reading, you know, being a slow reader can, can help you uh, optimize for comprehension. I think something similar happens with writing. Um, so to tie this back to, to, to Richard's comments, I think that, you know, when we write by hand, it's just another way of kind of digesting the thoughts that we have made conscious, that we have made physical. Um, so I'm all for it. And I want to make this point that I think everybody should keep a commonplace book. I'll talk about this in the future. After next week's video, I'm going to start talking about Stephen King, or I'm sorry, about Walter Isaacson's biography, one of the chapters on Leonardo da Vinci, on Leonardo da Vinci's notebook. Notebooks. I'm struggling. A car just started over there. So I was, obviously I'm worrying about the audio, the ramifications for the audio. But anyways, we have to move on. We have to keep talking because I am pressed for time. So anyways, um, yeah, everybody should keep a commonplace book. Leonardo has a commonplace, has the most famous commonplace books in human history. And uh, Walter Isaacson kind of broke them down in uh, the biography he wrote in one of the chapters. And that's what we're going to be talking about. But, you know, Richard made the point that he's got 18 months worth of notes and, and uh, you know, journal entries and this and that. Um, and that's an asset, and I think people should understand their 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 writings as assets. You know, there's there's, you know, you might not realize it now, but I think over time, whether it's five years or ten years, or in Leonardo's case, he would, you know, when he was however old he was, seventy years old, um, as he was, you know, 
toward the, you know, the closing years of his life, he would revisit his commonplace book entries from 50 years earlier. And, you know, there's, I think there's something beautiful about that because, you know, if you're entrepreneurially minded or artistically minded, you know, you can take advantage of thoughts that you've spent years growing with. That's a Proustian idea, right? It's the idea that, you know, to connect this to what writing is, to try to further hype up that, that, uh, that essay, you know, um, it's telepathy. Writing is telepathy. It's a communication of the minds across time and space. Um, and that's interesting. It can be, you know, with you and you, as far as, you know, reading your commonplace book entries from years ago, it can be with, you know, you and, and, uh, and Billy Shakespeare, you know, who, who knows it, but the point is it's a communication of the minds across time and space. And I think that's beautiful. Um, and so right by hand is my point. Consider the idea that, you know, when you write, it's a spiritual act. It's something that, you know, there's an artistry to getting the letters on the page. It's not just, uh, you know, zeros and ones and, um, you know, the UI. So, yeah, just flush out as much meaning from the act as you can. And I think that's how you optimize it for, um, for, for value. And I think that's true for anything. So, just heard something behind me. But anyways, handwriting, spiritual act, you know, the meeting point between the physical world and the world of ideas. Um, so yeah, I would just encourage you to write by hand. Try to make your handwriting as beautiful as possible because when you make your handwriting beautiful, you make your thoughts more beautiful in a very strange way. So um, that's an argument for cursive. Um, I'm not really a big cursive guy myself. I just kind of do the, I don't know, like it's just a combination, I don't know, whatever. I'm not saying I have the most beautiful handwriting in the world, but I try to make it beautiful. Um, so yeah, try to make your handwriting beautiful. Get paper you like, get pens you like, and go crazy with them and do the thing. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily know how helpful this is, but I think, yeah, I just think you should write by hand. The dogs are starting to run around now, which is usually a good signal that it's time to go in because that's when uh, they're just about to crash. So hopefully you can see them because that would be really good content. I love these guys. Um, yeah, Leonardo da Vinci, Stephen King, Elon Musk, Richard, last name omitted. Yep, these are, these are the ideas in writing and reading. These are the ideas, the people that are, that are on my mind as of late. So, um, record, you know, keep a commonplace book and do it digitally for convenience. But every once in a while, go back through, comb through what you have and write it by hand. Um, because it's another way of digesting what you've written, of sharpening your ideas, and it's a way of just, you know, making your handwriting more beautiful. Um, I do think there's value in that, even though you can't measure it in traditional ways. So that's all I have for now. I hope that, you know, maybe that was a little bit insightful and useful. The dogs are going crazy. So yeah, thanks for bearing with me. 200 subscribers feels great. I really appreciate it and I just hope that, you know, we can keep growing and, uh, you know, in the not too distant future, we'll, we'll up this production quality and, uh, yeah, but for now we're in the woods on a foggy Sunday morning and the dogs are going, are going nuts. So, um, thanks again. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you have a good week and if you have any questions about reading or writing or keeping a commonplace book, whatever they might be, anything pertaining to literary matters, let me know in the comments and you will get, you know, a lot back. You'll, you know, I'm, I'm in the comments. I don't, I don't mess around in the comments. <laughs> um, so yeah, just let me know and uh, I'll do what I can to help. So thanks for being here. I appreciate your time and uh, your attention. 
and I will see you next time. Whoa. Go get it. <laughs>